Okay, now in this video, we're actually going to discuss having a link to your offer, to your website, in your actual video. And this is a very important aspect of YouTube traffic because this is where you can really put your call to action exactly where you want it to be and you have the opportunity to change it based on what your viewers are doing. So let's talk about how you would actually go through this process. I'm actually going to go to a video that has been uploaded already and we're going to go to the annotation section of YouTube. Now when you get to the annotation section as it is listed up here um, in YouTube you are going to be able to add an annotation that is clickable link back to your website and what you're going to do is very simply you're going to add the annotation and you can do this in any form that you want typically the best way to do this is to use a spotlight on one of the things that you want to make clickable and you can for instance click this spotlight and what's going to happen is we're going to make an area of your video clickable we could make let's say a particular word clickable and what we can do is we really don't have to type in any words there right we don't we can we can just let the link do its job and then all we really have to do is determine how long we want the annotation to be we could stretch that out to the end of the video Right? We could stretch it out to halfway in between the video if that's where how long it was going to be there. Now the key in this process is your clickable link and we're going to click this link here and we're going to look here and basically you'll see here that what this channel has that other channels may not have, your channel may not have, is an associated website. So what you're going to want to do is to put your associated website into your YouTube channel and then when you have an associated website and it has to be your website you're not going to be able to have two or three you can put clickable links within the body of the video during the video back to your website now, this is very important because while you're giving the call to action in your video you can actually have people click a link when you tell them to click it and this is a very useful way of being able to get traffic at the point at which you want it and you can actually go back and edit this video without disturbing the video itself to continue to test where the link is going to be the most effective of course what you would be using in this case is you'd be using the analytics section and within the analytics section one of the things that you want to do to determine whether or not your link was uh, was effective is you'd want to look at audience retention because you want to find out for for a particular video well when is the audience leaving right so this is what you want to be concerned with the audience retention and you want to find out well where in the video in the particular video where I have my annotation is the audience actually leaving you can actually even find out in particular about your annotations in the video or where they're being clicked or how they're being clicked okay so now in this particular case uh, we don't necessarily have any annotations that we have saved so that's not going to be relevant but when you have annotations you will be able to do this and you will be able to find out how people are reacting to your actual annotations that it, that are going to be clickable back to your website okay you're gonna to wanna to come inside of the advanced section of your YouTube channel settings you wanna scroll down here and then you wanna to look to your associated website now I've obviously already gone through mine you're gonna to have to go through a process of having your video or having your website confirmed all that means you're gonna to have to put a file on your website that Google can verify you own the site and once you do that your your associated website will be there you can use that website in order to make clickable links in your video very important to your video traffic now one aspect of that that's important to note is that as of the creation of this course 
you cannot watch, you cannot click on annotations for mobile devices. There are some clickable links for some of the iOS devices that are in development, but as of right now, those links are, links are not clickable inside of Android devices or they're not clickable inside of some mobile devices. So that's just uh, that that's in development. It's in the works, but it's not there yet. But for the, the half of the people, the population that do have desktop computers, this is a very helpful way of being able to have them click a link when you want them to and head back to your website. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.